All right, guys, what's going on? This is a tutorial video for you for the PlayStation Vita. This is going to be how to properly install the application as well as plugin that is to configure your SD to Vita adapter. So I have the SD to Vita adapter right here, as you can see, and I have my brand new micro SD, which is completely unopened. I'm going to be opening it in this video and uh, showing you how to properly format this and prep this to uh, be mounted via the PlayStation Vita which is right there and uh yeah so uh we're just gonna dive into this video this will work for 360 henkaku uh and 365 henkaku enzo permanent patch as well as uh all the way through the hn core squared exploits to 373 uh so there's gonna be a couple of things i'm gonna need you to grab in this video uh with a dl link and uh i'll post the links below obviously and let's get going on this video all right, so here we are at the PC. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is first you're going to download the file I provided, the SD2 Vita files. Uh, this is a RAR uh, archive, and what you're going to do simply is just download that, extract it with an extraction program, something like WinRAR. Uh, it's not like a 7-zip or a WinZip where you can just use the Windows Explorer. Um, and you're going to have three files in here. The three files you're going to have is the ZZ blank image, the Windows 32 disk uh, image imager, uh, and then you're going to have the auto plugin 2 VPK. Now that is an installation file for the PlayStation Vita. We will get to that momentarily. First, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to prep our um, micro SD. So uh, I've opened the package of the micro SD. I'm going to pop the micro SD into this adapter. And we're going to pop this into the side of the PC. If you don't have an SD uh, card slot, per se, um, what you can do is you can get one of those uh, multi-adapters that are going to uh, a USB. So you can use uh, the 2.0 or the 3.0 USB port uh, to use with the adapter for the micro SD. Um, I will post a link to one of those as well uh, down below just in case you need that adapter. Uh, so we have a blank file here. Obviously, there's nothing on this SD card uh, at the moment. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to exit this out here and we're going to run the Windows Disk Imager. All right, so my screen recorder stopped for some strange economical reason. Uh, but there's going to be a prompt that comes up, just hit yes, and what you're going to do is, uh, if you look in the device here, we're going to have the E colon forward slash. Now what you want to do is you want to come down here, and we're going to our documents real quick, and we'll select the PC, boom, boom, boom. and we just want to confirm that the micro SD card is E colon. So now that we have the micro SD card as E colon, and we know that that is the actual thing, we have the device selected here. The image file that we're going to use is the ZZ blank. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to go to our desktop and you're just going to go down here to file name and type Z. You will see the ZZ blank image pop up like so, and you can hit open. Uh, once that is done, uh, you can now go to uh, right and select that physical device can corrupt the device target e are you sure you want to continue hit yes and right is successful now what you need to do is you need to exit this program and just simply unplug the usb uh, adapter if you have one or just take the sd adapter out of the pc and then plug the micro sd back in now you should have the Microsoft Windows prompt, you're going to format the disk. What you're going to do is you're going to change the allocation size to 32 kilobytes and make sure that it's XFAT. Once you do that, you can perform a quick format, hit yes and OK, and the format is complete. There we go. Now we should have an active folder pop up. Now it's time to go to the PlayStation Vita applications and install for that. Uh, if you have a secondary uh, notification come up, just simply hit cancel and don't worry about it. Uh, for some reason, it likes to do a double take sometimes. I have no idea why. 
Uh, so now what we're going to do is on the PlayStation Vita, we need to go to Vita Shell. So I'm just going to bring this up here real quick so you can see what I'm doing. Here's the Vita Shell. I'm going to open up Vita Shell, hit start. And when Vita Shell opens up, just simply hit select for USB connection. All right. So now we have USB connection. And what we're going to do is we're accessing the UX0. I'm just going to copy this auto plugin uh, application VPK over to the root of the UXO. Once that's done copying over, we can now exit this and exit our USB mode. And we can strictly go to the PS Vita. Alrighty, so here we are at the Vita. Uh, so what we're going to be looking at here is we're going to go down into our Vita shell. And if you start this up right here, uh, we're going to go to the UX0 root. What you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom after you've copied over your auto plugin to VPK and install that. I've already had this installed on this console just simply because I had to install uh, the screen capturing plugin. Uh, so... I already have this installed, and uh, what you're going to want to do now is um, open up the auto plugin application. Excuse me, had a hiccup there. Uh, so go ahead and start the auto plugin application. Uh, and what you're going to look for now is you're going to go to the uh, Vita plugins. And if you scroll down here, you will see install plugin for SD2 Vita. So we're going to click on that. And uh, to install Storage Manager plugin, the SD Vita must be ready. If a game card is inserted, it must be removed before rebooting. Very important, your SD Vita must have some apps already in it. You can copy paste them for your official MC. Only copy really needed apps to your SD. We're going to copy every single file on your UXO to the UMAO um, through Vita Shell. Uh, to make it easier, and I'm going to show you how to do that on the screen here. Uh, so we're just going to hit X to proceed with the installation. And now what you're going to see is your MCD official memory card. Um, you want that to be uh, not UMAO uh, because it's not going to freaking do anything. Uh, you want that to be your UXO and live area applications. Your SD to Vita, the GCD down here, switch that to the UMAO. Uh, and then after that, you can hit triangle to save the current configuration. Storage manager config updated, hit OK. And then you can hit circle to cancel. And then it's going to want you to reboot so just hit x to reboot and we'll be right back all righty so here we are at the second stage of this uh, after the reboot of the installation of the application uh, what you want to do is you're going to plug in your sd2 vita adapter with the micro sd that we set up on the pc into your playstation vita's game card slot once you do that, you're going to have to reboot the console one more time or Vita Shell will not pick it up because the plugin has to be reinitiated with the SD to Vita adapter in the PlayStation Vita. So once you've done that and you've gone through the reboot, you can now open up your Vita Shell and hit start. Once you hit start, you'll come to your main root directories and you will see the UMA0 with a colon. And as you can see, that's the 238.27 gigabyte stick that we have in our um, SD to Vita adapter. So right now we're still working off the actual, uh, either the internal memory or the memory stick that you have in your PlayStation Vita. What you're gonna have to do now is we're gonna have to scroll down here and you're gonna select UX0. Uh, what you can do now is hit triangle and you can do, 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 do. Oh, actually can't do that. Um, is it square? Yeah, it's square. Uh, hit square on basically every single one of these folders. And what you're going to do is just keep on going. Just keep going. Hit square on literally every single file, except for the auto plugin. You don't necessarily have to select that. Uh, but you want your ID dat, the icon layout dot any and then all these subfolders. What you can do now is you can hit triangle and you can select copy. 22 copied files confirmed. And we can go back and UMAO, if you open that up, there's literally just going to be these two folders in there. Uh, what you're gonna do now is just hit triangle and paste. And now it's going to copy your entire directory of UXO 
as is over to your SD to Vita adapter. Now, a few things that you need to know. One, any plugins that you have enabled, as long as you have them installed to UR0, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, if your plugin applications are installed on UXO, that's also going to copy over to the UMAO when you swap for UXO. Uh, so it should it shouldn't cause any issues, but normally your plugins you install to the UR0 and uh, you know, we never really run into issues there. Um, product I would recommend is uh, your micro SD. Uh, for an example, I would recommend the SanDisk. Uh, I just went out and I got the, um, the 120 megabytes per second read. Uh, works perfectly fine in my other Vita. This is actually my girlfriend's Vita uh, that I'm, I'm working on. And uh, I wanted to make this video as easy as possible. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my recommendations. You shouldn't really run into any issues. So now that we're looking at the UMA0, uh, if we go back, we'll just confirm. We have 252.75 megabytes of space taken up with the 238.27 gigabytes of space on the entire device. And the UX0 uh, 293.59 megabytes out of the 1.9 gigs, which is doo-doo. Uh, so, like I said, UXO, everything's there, all fine and dandy. And if we go into UMIO, let's check our apps. You'll see the auto plug-in, the uh, Vita shell, and all of that. You want to make sure that you copy all of these files over to UMAO. And uh, that's pretty much it. So now, what you're going to have to do, we can exit Vita shell. And... Upon exiting Vita Shell, we will now reopen the Auto Plugin 2 uh, application. So, opening this application up, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll to the Vita plugins and hit X. Actually, we don't even need to scroll at all, that's the first thing there. And then you're going to configure the plugin for SD to Vita. Before I do that, I want to show you something in settings. So, if we go to settings real quick and hit start, and uh, we're going to go down to uh, system. And system information, as you can see, I'm running the 365 uh, Henkaku Enzo, and I have a uh, 1,215 megabytes, aka 1.15 gig or whatever. Uh, that's my memory capacity at the moment. So I'm going to exit that and go back to the Auto Plugin 2 application. As I was saying before, now we will select Configure the Plugin for SD2 Vita. Now, the MCD official memory card, you can now change that to the UMA0. So at least we always still have access to our original files on our original memory card slash internal memory, depending on your PlayStation Vita model. And if you scroll down here to the GCD, the SD to Vita, you can now change this to the UX0 live area applications. Once you do that, hit triangle to save the configuration, hit X for OK, and then we're going to simply hit circle for cancel again and circle one more time. And we will now select exit and it will require a reboot. So we are going to reboot yet again. And I will be back after the reboot is completed because I have to reboot my capturing software and compile to the reboot of the Vita in order to use the plugin. So hit X to reboot and we shall return momentarily. All right, so here we are after the reboot. Now we've rebooted our device. Let's do a little quick reclap here. Uh, we first we downloaded the files. We installed uh, the ZZ Blank image using the Windows imaging software uh, to the micro SD card. Unplugged it, put it back in, formatted it, allocated the uh, unit size to 32 kilobytes. Uh, took it out put it in the SD to Vita adapter, place that in our system, ran the Auto 2 plugin application after we installed it via Vita Shell, uh, installed the plugin for the SD to Vita adapter, configured it for the live area being the main substrate, and then the UMAO being the SD to Vita adapter, opened up Vita Shell after reboot, copied all the files from UXO over to the actual UMAO of the SD to Vita adapter, then reconfigured the settings for UMAO swapped to UX0 and UX0 swapped to UMA0. I know I say O and zero. I don't know. It's an Italian thing, I guess. 
So now we're here at the end of the reboot. And as you can see, here's all these applications of the previous installed, which are readily available. If we go to our settings and hit start, we're gonna go to system information yet again. We'll scroll down to system information and system and system information. And you will now see that the capacity is 238 gigabytes of space. So now our SD to Vita adapter is working correctly. The other thing that we can do now is we can close this out and we'll go here and we'll run our auto plugin two and simply hit start. And any plugins that you've had installed prior, if we uh, go to the plugins list, you should see a little green dot next to the ones that you have installed. There we go. There's the green dot there. And you can just double check and make sure all your plugins are enabled and good to go. So. I hope this helps anybody trying to install the SD to Vita adapter. Uh, if you wish to install Hankaku Enzo uh, 365 on any PlayStation Vita, please refer to my uh, PlayStation Vita video on installing Hankaku Enzo and the downgrading with Mandaru and HN Core Squared. Uh, that'd be awesome. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Again, the download links that you will need will be below, uh, which is that one file as well. I will also leave a link down below for a uh, link to an adapter if you don't have an SD slot on your PC at all. So that way you can get a uh, SD slot for the uh, uh, adapter that usually comes with the new memory stick. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps everybody and happy modding and I'll see you guys soon.